is Chippy here. We're at uh, MWC 2014. We're with Intel, uh, where I'm just taking a look at a really interesting two-in-one play. This is not the two-in-ones we talk about on Ultrabook News, but it is using an Ultrabook. So I'm going to introduce you to Christopher Price here. He's from iConsole TV, and we are demonstrating here... <laughs> What, a desktop that can be a game player, or a game player that can be a desktop, or a sure. laptop that can be a game player, or how's it, how's it going? Sure, so iConsole.tv is an Android-powered gaming console, but it's the first Android gaming console that's taking on mainstream gaming consoles. At the same time, we're building the first Android desktop PC. Now, at Mobile World Congress, what we've done is we're, we're presenting a technology demo of that same build of Android running on an Ultrabook. So this represents the same kind of Android experience you're going to find on Ultrabooks uh, late this year. So what, are the, what is the demo you've got here? You've got, uh, obviously, a build of Android here. Um, can you give us a run-through of what the, the capabilities of, of the system are? Sure. So this is an Intel Core i5. It's running the, the HD 5000. iConsole.tv, um, our set-top box, will be powered by Iris Pro. The point is, you're not just making a game for uh, an Android gaming console. You're building it for all the high-performance Intel Android devices that will be on the market late this year. Um, we're testing out various Android user experiences right now, but to show you that we're trying to stay Android compatible, we've taken a game that is built for an Android phone, and we've scaled it up. The developers of Anomaly 2 have packed in better graphics, better textures, and shown how something that is on the market today can scale and be even better using Core and Iris Graphics technology on Android using Intel chips. Uh, this, is, this kind of graphics on Android is only possible today using high performance Intel processors. And this is a full HD screen. What's the, uh, oh, it's an Anomaly 3, 2? It's Anomaly 2. This is, their, this is their torture test, but this is the only way to get it to run at 60 frames per second is to use Intel chips. Intel right. core processors are the first to break the benchmark, basically. <laughs> so that's Anomaly 2. This is the benchmark. It's running at 60 frames per second, full HD. Uh, actually, we're on dual screen here as well, so that's, uh, that's pretty pretty impressive. Okay, the demo's just run out. Yeah. So this is 1080p um, on both screens, and we, we're, we're doing mirroring. iConsole.tv, the set-top box, will actually have multiple HD outputs and be capable of 4K. So we recognize that people are going to want to use this as a desktop computer. You'll be able to connect a multi-touch display if you want, but what we're focused on is making Android a totally non-touch experience on the PC, where you don't need multi-touch. Uh, it's nice to have, and on Ultrabooks, it's built right in, but we're scaling Android to every type of PC experience, and that's really what we're focused on at iConsole.tv. Right. So, can I ask you, we were talking about this earlier, uh, and it's the dual OS uh, question, really, and dual OS was announced at CES very briefly. Do you see that uh, playing a massive role in the next year, or do you think it's going to go very quickly to a sort of all Android experience for most consumers? Sure. So, the, the best message I have on there is, is watch this space. Intel is working on that technology. They, they did avail it at CES. What we're focused on at iConsole.tv is creating one Android experience that meets every PC device type, desktop, laptop, netbook, and ultrabook, and make it awesome regardless of if you have Windows or if you don't have Windows. We want Android to be your primary OS, and that's the kind of Android experience that we're building outside of Google. Developers that are interested in building apps for you know this, this high-res, high-power solution, where can they go to and what can they get from iColdSoil.tv? So the first thing you, you just have to do is pack in better graphics, better textures. Don't rewrite your game. We don't want you to change a single Android API. Like we said, we're staying Android compatible. Uh, right down to the AOSP core, but you can go to the Intel Developer Zone. You can check out the tools there to optimize your apps, not just for iConsole, but for every x86 Android device. And you have a developer kit as well available? Yeah, it's available at, at developer.iconsole.tv. It's $6.99. It's called Unit 00. It is the most powerful Android device available for sale today. So that's it. That's iConsole TV, and that's a fantastic demo. Thanks, Chris. Anomaly 2 broke the benchmark on this uh, 85,000 powered uh, Ultrabook. Check out more at uh, iConsole.tv and at the Intel Developer Zone on the Intel website. My name's Shippy from UltrabookNews.com. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.